you want an experience, you got to come out to Nepal and check out Chitwan National Park. It's amazing. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Nepal. At Chitwan National Park. If you're new to the channel, this is April. And I'm Wayne. We do a video every Thursday, so hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. Down here at the river, we're gonna go see the crocodiles. Chitwan National Park is home to two kinds of crocodiles, muggers and gharials. Mugger crocodiles are medium to large. These crocodiles are the more aggressive species. They're known to even eat man. They dig burrows. That's what the little caves are on the side of the river over there to escape from the heat. The gharial, on the other hand, is poorly equipped for moving on land. It only leaves the water to bask and nest, both of which are usually taking place on a sandbank. Where they slithered off the bank. It has that elongated, narrow snout. He almost looks like an alligator gar. It's a type of fish in Florida. To me, he looks like prehistoric crocodile. These canoes are almost like a balsa wood. So I could see this would be a lot easier to carve out than like the Native Americans. These canoes are big and heavy. Taking off on the canoe ride to go and see And Wayne some... just about tipped us overboard. No, she's yes. over-exaggerating. <laughs> Any one of us would move and the whole canoe would feel it, but it was mostly you because you were trying to film. True. Even got it stuck. That's what happens when you put the fat guy at the front of the boat. The canoe safari is 1,500 rupees plus 2,000 rupees to get into the national park. So it's a pretty good bargain. That's the aggressive crocodile. This is the first one we see. You see the crocodile. We've got to get away from plastic or we're all going to die. Yeah, he's pretty. I don't know what he is, but he's pretty. In Chitwan National Park, there is nine different types of kingfisher birds in here. We're going to leave the canoe now and go do a jungle walk. Hopefully see some tigers and rhinos. Yes, please. Thank you. Chitwan National Park is home to 128 Royal Bengal Tigers. The word Chitwan comes from two words, Chitta and Vana. Chitta means the heart and Vana means jungle. It is among the most deciduous forest ranges in the Terai region. Grasslands, pinus trees, riverine forests are one of the main attractions in Chitwan. In the grass area, sometimes you know, rhino will be stay over there, but we cannot find out. There's so many birds also available here, also crocodile also available here. So all the trees are dry because these kinds of trees uh, not survive long period in the water. Look at this, we found a tiger paw print. I've never seen a termite mound this large. Our guide was telling us that during the rainy season, the rain will wash it completely away and the termites will build it back up the following season. I'm so excited. We're gonna see a tiger. Hell, is April gonna do this? <laughs> you have no idea how bad April has before. Tightrope walker. I'm making sure I'm going to film both of them going into the swamp. Because April's going to lose your balance. He's supportive. He's doing well. Nope, nope, nope. Hold me up. Hold me up. Please hold me, blade of grass. Please. You weigh too much, fatty. Can't let anything happen to the baby. May break my back in the process. That's much better. That's much better. Second lock. Well, he got it, I guess. These are leeches. They're smelling you, see? Mm. Look at that. They're gonna suck your blood. Yeah, if they want to, they probably could. Yeah. I wonder if I got any on me. They can smell you. 
That's anybody can smell me right now. You two can smell me. <laughs> if you want to do the one hour jungle tour, it's 2,000 rupees. Oh, you think in Nepal, you think of snow capped mountains, not tropical rainforests and, and jungles and rhinos and tigers, but Nepal's an adventure. A good way to detox while you're in Nepal is to go do a jungle safari walk in Chitwan National Park. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. You're okay. You're better off just to jump. Uh, better to one keep here. Slowly, yeah? Uh -huh. oh, okay. Thank you. People is drenched in sweat. You were too. It was just more noticeable, I think, with me. Me as, you know, OCD clean freak trying to minimize the amount of dirt all over me. Uh, I really, look at that. It's going through my shoe though. Finally, I just gave in. Elephant breeding program at Chitwan National Park. I have mixed feelings on this one. On one hand, I'm glad that they're bringing the animal species back because of them being so close to endangered. But then at the same time, I kind of feel sorry for the elephants that are chained up. It was something I was having a real problem with. Big giant creature and you can't even go anywhere. Well, part of that is for training purposes. They are training the elephants to do their work, you know, the patrolling work and, and what have you. you know, that's their thinking in part is that the chains are helping with behavioral issues and they are training the animals. I'm not saying that's right or okay. I'm just saying that's part of their thinking. They offer a jungle safari where you can ride the elephants into the wild. We're not a big fan of this. This is why we didn't participate, but they use the elephants in the breeding program to stop poachers from coming into the national park and killing all the different species. The elephants can get through the jungle where the trucks can't without destroying the environment or the ecosystem. There is some good that is come out of it. The reason that they don't put a big fence up is to keep it open so that the wild bull elephants can head to the compound and mate with the females before going back to the jungle. But by gosh, by golly, those baby elephants are so cute. It was really fun to see the one yank Wayne around. Yeah. Oh my God. They are characters. Yes, definitely. I think elephants have more personality than puppies. It was interesting. It's too bad we didn't see more, but... It kind of puts you almost in like a movie set in the middle of nowhere in the jungle and anything at any time could pop out at you and you're dealing with the elements, the horrific, unrelenting humidity and heat. <laughs> it was about the anticipation of not knowing if a tiger was going to jump sure, out Sure, yeah, that was fun. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life.